Yo, even even when I'm tired, nigga, I'm working. Even when I'm tired, nigga, I'm working. Remember that. And literally had girls <laughs> riding dick in a car, hey, bro. What I just I read the I title, but this is crazy. Mute that. I don't want to hear that neither, bro. Not with you. Hey man, these YouTubers gotta stop. Yo, I'm pretty sure y'all see it. Y'all scrolling on I'm Twitter. I'm a hoodie on. It's cold in here. What maybe, the? especially on Twitter. And then you just see some of the most cringe-worthy stuff. My fault, my fault. <laughs> nah, this nigga. Oh shit. Sure. I'm gonna eat you up. <laughs> you know what time it is. Yo, no, no, no. These be the niggas pissing me off. Cut it. <laughs> so this is this is I know. Ain't this, this like this the king is, bat to eating? This is this is cringe. The so king here's batch. the problem with like pranks. Or that, like first of all, of video. So, being compared oh. to King Batch is not a good thing. That nigga used to be a menace on Vine. And not for for yeah, for y'all niggas, it was kinda ha ha ha, but it wasn't it wasn't ha ha funny. It was like ha ha weird. It what was weird. If it's real, but hey man, you made a living. The problem Black is, man is that like, there's like boundaries, that. right? Facts. So if you're doing it, you know what I'm saying, here in the privacy of your own home, I have I personally ain't no problem with it. Or the uh, other side of is the, for the real public. pranks, the dude we're having a you know, is that my luggage prank? You that know? shit is so not funny, my nigga. The Nas EBK nigga. Yo, 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 yo. I'm glad they played this clip. This nigga is a dumb fuck. You're at an airport. Yo, 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 yo. I don't think y'all niggas understand, bro. Pranks can be pranks. This is the furthest thing from a prank, my nigga. First of all, yeah, I don't know. This stupid nigga got charged. But not only this, <laughs> he got a charge. Uh, cause, cause you gotta... Let me explain something to y'all. Let me explain. I hope this video gets out. I hope this shit go viral or whatever. I just hope enough people see this shit to share this shit. Because let me break... If you don't know this, let me break this kind of shit down to you, right? If you are involved in illegal activity ongoing... On your past and you do shit like this you're now put it in the fucking forefront your face is plastered especially when it goes viral so what do you think niggas do niggas go who is that person from that video what have they done let's look into this this is what the police are saying so now they go back and start digging up shit you did this shit at the airport like a dumbass first of all you do anything Criminal or anything like violent at the airport, nigga. You are you may automatically just tell yourself like, oh, I don't want to be on the no fly list. That's first. Second of all, you threaten this nigga on camera for them to see it. Dumb fuck. Like now they're looking. Now you do all this shit at the airport. They go back and go, who is this person? Let me look into them. Now he just got charged or he just got arrested on accusations that. He was she uh, a second degree murder or some shit like that. Or basically shooting the nigga at Times Square, bro. What's going on up here? You a rapper slash like a uh, uh, drill rapper slash a uh, uh, YouTuber? Cool, cool. You could do that, but not when you doing stupid shit like this. If you're talking about you gonna scalpel or, or or slice his face, nigga, are you stupid? If it was a prank, you should have said, ah, it was a prank. Ah, that's it. Or at least edit that part out where you saying all that crazy shit. Nigga, what's wrong with you niggas, bro? Y'all be losing me. Y'all be wanting to be so gangster while the cameras are on you. You're now, not only are the cameras on you, you're at the airport, you're giving terroristic threats, and you hypothetically, or, or not hypothetically, fuck that, uh, allegedly might have caught a body in Times Square, probably one of the most popular places, the most tourist attractive places to be at in New York. My nigga, what's up? I just went on a rant. That had to, that pissed me off though, cause up here, bro, y'all dying, y'all dying to these the internet, the phone, like nigga committing crimes, recording. It. What's up with y'all? What's up? What's up? What's who you niggas? And then y'all claim y'all was raised by real OGs and all. I don't know. I can't tell y'all was raised by IG or OGs. Who is it? Who are they? Niggas don't condone that. Long story short, though, I just had to go on a rant. Y'all niggas are wilding on the internet. Some things should be on the internet. Shit is funny. I get it. Shit is entertaining. But at the same time, you niggas need to sometimes take a step back. Sometimes delete the app, app or two for a month or so. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, go remote a little bit. You know what I mean? I get it. We are niggas, the social media era and all of that. But man, take a step back. Reconnect. Get in here. Up, you know, up, you know what I'm saying? This, y'all, y'all lose, y'all gonna lose every time. Y'all gonna lose every time when it comes to the internet. Every time.
That's all I'm saying. I can just get, I can just get the. Why you walking away with my back, bro? My son handled this shit perfectly. Bro, relax, bro. Relax. You telling him joking, to relax? You're, you're joking. not even relaxed. You're being white. <laughs> like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google no, nigga, and I'm then that's people. weird, too. Stop saying that shit to niggas, bro. That I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm vexed right now. I'm dumb vexed right now. Niggas talking about some you don't know who I am. No, nigga, I don't know you. I don't care to know you. Who are you? Who? Why would I want to know who you are? Who? Who? Why are you so important that I want to? I want to. Uh. 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 uh I want to. <laughs> my fault. I'm. I'm vexed right now, son. I'm vexed because this shit is. This shit keep happening. This shit keep happening. Why would I want to know? Why would I want to inquire? On who you are you're the tough guy the nigga is a tougher guy than you that just got killed is it like come on son you niggas be trying to do too much bro Niggas be trying to do too much bro, bro, stop playing me. What? and then the fake knife fake knife shit all right that's cool but terroristic threat my nigga if you like come on son at the airport right now what nah, and then they looking at you crazy because you look like a dweeb you said it was a prank now you look like a dweeb then on top of that, nigga. Then on top of that, if you what like that's, that's just like, if you really like that, you could have just fought him. Like nigga, you told him to relax. You turning up? What? Nah, 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 Having like this, first of all, that nigga obviously saw the mic. Like it's glowing green. Like it, you can't miss the microphone on your chest. You didn't even try and hide. So you think that's fake? Uh, no, that could be real. It's probably real. But he knew he was shooting a video and still got upset. But then this nigga thought it was cool. Like you're annoying people. Don't. If you're obviously annoying people, you have to have the patience to withstand whatever response they have. Facts. Like in the video where Canel was taking people's luggage just like this. Yeah. And like that's my luggage. There was a guy that was pulling him by his hair, and you could see Canel not. Not react. Oh. Basically, it did not end well, and the cops ended up tackling him. And then the cops asked us, like, hey, do we want to press charges and stuff like that? And we we're like, nah. You know, we're not one of those people. We're messing with him. We're not going to, like, ruin his life, even though, you know, he was yanking your boy, smacking your boy, pulling him like he was a dog. Because he knew in a situation, you were the nigga being annoying. Yep. So you can't <clears throat> swing on a nigga when he responds to what. That's a fact. Back to what I was saying before, bro. I may have said this shit off camera. If I slap you and you punch me in my shit, I cannot be upset to, with you that I, I, I that you punch me in my shit. Yeah, niggas think like, oh yeah, I slapped you, you should slap me back or you should push me or some shit. No, nigga. If I pluck you and you punch me in my shit, I can't be mad at you. You know why? I cannot judge you or tell you how to react to certain situations. That's violent reactions, obviously. But any react, any... If I do anything to you and you give an extreme reaction, I cannot be upset with that. Can't be because you cannot dictate how the next person is going to feel or what the next person is going to do. So just have that in your mind that, yo, whatever I do, this person may go 10 times above what I'm about to do. Have this had that in the back of your mind. Just think that. Like, think about that. Like, for real. See, I think, like, people really think like, oh, because I did something to you, you should it, do the same thing of not equally damaging to me. Nah, nigga, don't work like that. Human beings are not programmed like that. They can, but sometimes niggas may take it to the extreme. You bump it to me now, nah, nigga. I'm saying like this extreme case. I feel like every time is maybe not, not necessary. You shouldn't take it there, but some people do, bro. So be, doing, be, yeah. be unless that person be willing to, to a degree where like you have to defend yourself. Yeah. So in this situation, here's no be willing to accept those consequences. It just isn't. But especially it, if the you're the one doing the prank. But the escalation goes so far where the wrong way is a joke. I will slap your face right now. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you should be surprised. Stop playing with me. I cut your face <laughs> open, nigga. See? So like, it's he like, did that in an airport and uploaded it. Yeah. That is insane. But that's what happens when it's a real prank. When it's real, it comes at the at the detriment of other people. No, there are. Good real pranks, bro. You just had to be creative. And this is this is where I I drew the line. Now, unfortunately, this can video, I even watch well, this? Well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, YouTube finally stepped in and took the video down because it was getting out of hand. But there was literally, and I do mean literally, <clears throat> on YouTube over the past like couple of weeks, yeah, thank a video you. where the yeah, game was, hey, who can come the quickest? Let's have sex in the car, guys, and let's figure out who can come the quickest. Literally had girls. <laughs> Riding dick in a car, bro. I don't want to watch. No. Turn the volume. Yeah, mute. I don't want to hear that neither, bro. Not with you in the room. 
That's mad weird. It's weird. What are you doing? What the fuck? What? This shit is weird, bro. At the detriment this of is on what, YouTube. bro? It's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, I seen it on so Twitter first, the though. The other response to it is... I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, it's, it's like four niggas in the car, bro. Four it's, niggas in yo, two joints. What, what? Yo, bro, anything for a view. Anything for a view. Ooh. So for y'all who don't know what's on the screen right now, like actively giving each other head on YouTube. Nah, on I ain't YouTube. see the head. Now, we don't know if this is real or fake. It's what? What you mean if it's not real or fake? I don't think that's real, bro. I don't think that's real. What's the point of faking this? They're in the car. For views. Uh, for views, agent. Oh, like they wouldn't do this with yes. the camera off? Oh, no, I'm saying no. They, she probably just put her head down between the legs, but she's not actually giving her head, bro. Damn. So so my question is, and I think a lot of people want to know, okay, so if you don't if you do not do the real prank, you then have to fake the prank. Yeah. I feel like, like you said, when you're trying to do especially the real ones, you're just trying to top the last thing that you did. And at some point, it's That's coming true. at the detriment of like other people out in public or you just, you find yourself uploading yourself fucking two girls in a in a car for views because you're trying to have a who can come quicker. Yeah, you can just have only for I can't stuff. believe somebody brainstormed that. <laughs> What do, what, do you, what do you do? Because it's there either a, doing stuff like this or taming yourself to where you potentially don't get views or just faking no, it in general, niggas bro. want the easiest possible route. That no, is, for sure. People want the easiest possible route. They will not put together the uh, brain power. They will not put together the creativity required to come up with a dope-ass idea. The best prank I've probably ever seen on YouTube was um, the Bigfoot prank that Nelk did a year ago where they convinced a guy who loves Bigfoot that they found him or they, they, like, they think they knew where he was mm -hmm. and then they hired a fake Bigfoot and like, look, look, look. And this nigga's panicking because his whole life, like everything, everyone called him. And then at the end of it, they're like, no, it's not real. And he looked a little bummed out, but they gave him like $10,000 and like his eyes were like elated and he hugged him and now they're friends and shit. It was like the picture perfect prank. It was a lot of effort, a lot of creativity and serious setup. Nah, that's definitely crazy. Uh, I ain't gonna go too much on the rant extra, bro. Niggas is wildin'. I get it, man. Y'all wanna, you feel me? Y'all wanna... Make y'all way or pave y'all way, bro. But that ain't it, my nigga. Y'all niggas is crashing out behind pranks. The the shit in the car, it's corny. Uh, I don't think it should be on YouTube. I think y'all could. There's so much other shit y'all could do. The airport shit. That's that's some whole. That's some whole other wave of some fuckery, bro. That I just I just don't get mixing gangster shit with the internet. And then mixing some gangster shit like to where you could like go to jail, my nigga. The nigga is in jail now. Not only is he gonna have to fight the charges and allegations at the airport shit. Now you about to have to fight a body. Like, you feel me? And possibly, possibly if you didn't do the shit at the airport, they may not have looked that much into you for the body. Like, can y'all niggas, can y'all niggas stink? Can y'all niggas stink, bro? Please, please, bro, please. Fucking crazy, bro. Man, I don't know what else to say, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these pranks. I think these shit's getting out of hand. <laughs> we, we, y'all too, y'all are too fucking smart and too fucking, like, creative. Come on, man. Keep creating. Keep, keep, keep prospering. There's so much more y'all could do.